Hello, I am back with another Thinkific site example. I haven't done one in a while. We've been really busy building sites, so I'm thrilled to be able to bring another one to you today. So this site we built for a client, they have a program called the Lifetime Travel Portfolio where they take people and people who want to travel specifically through a process to create, plan, and budget a lifetime of travels. So it's really exciting for them. This is the first program that they've actually put online. However, they've been teaching it in person for many, many years with huge success. So they have a very simple website. They wanted it matched as closely as possible. They wanted their Thinkific site matched as closely as possible. So for this one, we use the Empire Halo theme. You'll probably notice that many of the sites that we build are using the Empire Halo theme, and that's because it's probably the most flexible theme uh, that Thinkific offers. We can do a lot more with it than many of the other themes. So it tends to be the base theme for a lot of the sites that we create. So I'm gonna show you now their website, first of all, and then their Thinkific site that we built for them. So this is their website that we're looking at right now. Uh, again, the imagery is really, really powerful because again, their demographic is travelers and those wanting to travel more. Uh, we've got the gold color here. It's very simple, very clean. And so we really wanted to emulate that. Now the challenge here is that they have three different demographics. So they sell the course as a standalone program or online course, but they also allow financial planners and travel advisors to be able to use this tool and this process with their clients in different capacities. So that was our challenge with building the Thinkific site. So uh, linked from their website, we'll go over to the Thinkific site now and have a look at what we did. So here we are on their Thinkific site. As you can see, it looks immediately quite similar to their website. We did have to darken this photo somewhat purely in order to make the white uh, copy or the text really stand out. But you know, we've done the same thing with their navigation tab here. We've done as similar as we can without theme coding. We're not developers, so we don't do any theme coding. So if you want an image moved two pixels to the left or a very specific thing done with it, your, your Thinkific site, it's likely that you're gonna have to go to a developer for that um, because we work with out of the box Thinkific themes. So let's have a scroll through their homepage of their site. As you can see up here, we clearly target the three demographics and these will take you to different pages. So immediately someone could click on these and, and go here if they're a traveler, a financial planner, or a travel advisor. But let's have a look through the homepage here. So we're just starting to talk about what it is and we immediately want them to try and self segment here. So if they didn't click on one of the navigation tabs at the top, we want them now to be able to click on one of these. But we also recognize that that's pretty soon. Uh, if someone is not familiar with this brand or business, they need a little bit more time to warm up. So we wanna give that to them with strong imagery, lots of information about their online academy, Again, more images, getting people in the mindset of traveling. We introduce them to the founders of this program. Social proof is really, really important. So who uh, this company has been recognized by, which are pretty notable uh, other brands. And then at the bottom, we're gonna ask them again, are you a traveler, a financial planner, or a travel advisor? depending on what they choose, they're gonna to go to a different page. So these two are actually custom pages and this is the course sales page. So let's go there first. So you'll notice that the copy is really, really important. We work with our clients in order to help them create the copy for their website with examples, with formulas, uh, and the exact structure that we're looking for. There is a very specific structure to a long form sales page and we walk them through that. The reason we do that is that most of our clients are getting their courses online for the first time. And uh, to get a sales page written by a good copywriter, you're probably looking at about $3,000. Not, not a budget that most of our clients have right out the gate until they get some cash flow and start selling their course. So we walk them through that process. So between them and us, we work together on creating this copy here. So dreaming about travel is only half the fun. Making your dreams come true is the other half. Really powerful, we wanna hook them in there first. Then we're asking them to self-identify. We want them to basically answer yes to these questions. The whole goal is to keep them scrolling through the page. So we introduce them to the lifetime travel portfolio. 
we tell them what this tool is all about, what they're going to uh, have, be, or transform into by the time they're done this program or course. Here's an overview of what they're going to do inside the course. Again, more imagery. And then at this point, we've probably given them enough information that we at least want to give them the option to sign up. So we've got the pricing, we've got the guarantee, and we've got two different payment options here, which will take them over to the checkout. Then again, we've, we're introducing them to the founders because we have to remember that not everyone is going to come through the homepage. Some people might land on the sales page for a variety of reasons. So we want to make sure that some of those same components are on different pages. This section here, not sure if it's right for you. Typically, this is for, and we outline exactly who it's for. Uh, then we've got some FAQs for those who are still on the fence. And then we've got one more call to action at the bottom here, slightly different than the one above, different payment button uh, colors, and there's reasons behind all of these things. So that's the sales page for travelers. Now, if we go over to financial planners or travel advisors, they're uh, virtually the same page, slightly different copy. Let me move myself over there. And the goal of these pages are to help financial planners and travel advisors figure out whether this is a tool that they could potentially use with their clients to boost their own business. So the, the whole page is created for that purpose. And at the bottom here, we actually have a type form so that they can uh, express their interest to the founders of this program and get in touch with them about different ways and start this conversation between the founders and between the travel agents or travel advisors or the financial planners. So there's no call to action on here. There's nothing that they can do as a financial planner or travel advisor except for to complete that form, get in touch with the founders, start a conversation about how they might be able to use this with their clients. If you need help getting your first course or your next course online and into the hands of your buyers, feel free to reach out. Click the link in the description above or below to get in touch.